So those are the two. You got the INEO Pocket DMG and the Pocket Micro. And I thought there was another one, but we can skip that one. Yeah. <laughs> Let's move to now the Ein Odin 2. I called I called it the light, and I even emailed them and called it the light. It's called the mini. The Ein Odin 2 Mini. The light is a completely different product. Oh. Good to know. The Ein Odin 2 Mini is an upcoming handheld game console for the makers of the Ein Odin and Ein Loki line of devices. The name suggests that this Android powered game console is a smaller version of the Odin 2 that launched last summer, and it does have many of the same specs while sporting a smaller screen and lighter weight body. Uh, but the new version also features a new body with rounded sides and physical design that is heavily inspired by the PlayStation Vita. Uh, despite looking like a handheld that was released more than a decade ago, under the hood is a, a modern device uh, with the kind of hardware that you'd expect from a recent flagship phone. Uh, and then down here it lists the specs, 5-inch screen, 1080p, uh, mini LED, Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, uh, 8 or 12 gigs of LPDDR5X RAM, uh, 128 or 256 gigs of storage. So it's pretty much the same as the Ein Odin 2, which is interesting because the yeah. Ein Odin 2 is very nice and very powerful, but it's a, mm -hmm. I don't want to say it's big, but it's big as far as Android devices go. Uh, it's got a much smaller battery, so I hope that right. uh, the mini LED uh, runs a little a, a, a little more energy efficient. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, it seems to just be smaller and lighter. Uh, but it looks like it's going to be $329 for the 8 gigabytes of RAM mm -hmm. or $400 for the 12 gigabytes. That's kind of a lot. That's a lot. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if it's as powerful, that's cool. I really like how small it is, and, and I, I like that it looks like a, a PS Vita. Yeah. I, I like the form factor a lot, and it's very thin. And the back, I don't have a picture of the back here. Oh, there, there's yeah, the size the comparison. Oh. Yeah, the back looks exactly like a Vita. Oh, yeah. Like, literally just a Vita. Mm -hmm. You don't have the touchpad, of course. But no, but... That's the size comparison. It is... It looks ridiculous compared yeah. to the, the, the Odin 2. Uh, and suppose it, it seems like it might be just as powerful. I, uh, there, there is some thermal stuff going on with the Odin 2, so uh, maybe they have that figured out. I don't know. Uh, uh, once again, I don't think we have any word on pricing or anything. For the, uh, not, not pricing. Uh, release date? Uh, release date, yeah. Um, according to the article, the company hopes to begin selling it sometime this summer. Okay. This, I think, might hit Indiegogo as well. I okay. think the Odin 2 also did. So I wouldn't be surprised if this did as well. Uh, I like Ein, or I, I liked Ein until I had my little kerfuffle with them about the, uh, the Windows-based de devices. They, they, right. they were great because they came out of nowhere. They had the Odin, and, and it was finally like a great uh, retro handheld. That mm -hmm. did everything like like relatively decent. Right. Everything before that, it was a pain in the ass to get games on. It was a pain in the ass to uh to to pl play the games that you want to play. It, it this one had like a great UI and everything right. that was built in. You didn't really have to do too much. You could just out of the box start playing stuff or or, or start putting emulators on there. Uh, then the rest of the industry kind of caught up, and then Ein caught the bug, and they decided they wanted to release 14 different SKUs of mm -hmm. the same shit. And then they got into the PC market, the PC handheld market, and they released way too many. They canceled half of them. Uh, it took me forever to get mine. They gave me the runaround about getting mine, um, the, the one that I paid for. Uh, and it wasn't until I complained on Twitter that they decided to finally ship me mine. Yeah. Uh, and we just got the Odin 2 earlier this year, and now they're giving us the light just a couple months later. So. Uh, they're starting to piss me off in the same way that uh, that I and Neo did. Right. So. But this looks cool. <laughs> so we'll Could see. Could this be the one that wins Bob back? It needs to be a little cheaper. Yeah, because at that- $100 is ridiculous. At that price point, just get a Steam Deck and you yeah. get, like, everything. I always- People always ask me that. Uh, and and if you- if I will always say that the Steam Deck is the- 
retro handheld to get if you mm-hmm. want to play emulation stuff on it it's perfect for like everything even if you want to just dock it on the tv it's perfect yeah. for that uh these are the same price so like why would you yeah. want this but it, it's cool if you have just money laying around it's cool to have something that's smaller than a steam deck but the steam deck's the best value yeah you can't you can't beat that at all uh so there you go if you were worried i know a lot of you were worried that we were running out of retro handhelds well don't don't you worry don't worry there's so many retro to go part of me wonders like do people actually buy this stuff or do like these companies just make it for youtubers to talk i think about that as well <laughs> but i see like there's like a like a like an emulation subreddit and uh it's a lot of people it's all the same people who buy all of these right people just collect all of them yeah so and i'm listen i'm not gonna make fun of them right because <laughs> i am them I am that person. I am getting fucking sick of it, though. Right. They're all the same, and they're all playing the same games. Mm-hmm. And he, I, things need to be different. Things need to be more fun. Like, like I like the vertical one. Like, that's sorry. Right. We're getting yeah. interesting. Things are different now. Mm-hmm. This one looks like a Vita. All right, it What's looks the, like a Vita, but it's playing the same who's shit. Who's releasing the, the SP? Uh, Anne Bernick has one. And yeah. Miu is making one as well. Okay, I'm also yeah. getting sick of them making the same fucking thing every. every they're, they're both right. releasing the same shit. I, I should I should be getting the Amber Nick one any minute now. Everybody already released their videos on it though. Right. Uh. Anyway. Uh. 